Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. I am back at the best house ever. It is the best house ever. Don't ever let anybody tell you anything different. I have done some things since the last time you've seen me. Um, obviously, we've been to the nether. We've had creepers blow up. <laughs> we have started um, making a annoying bird sound farm but we got the sugarcane farm over there I've been growing some oops, cows as you see I have enchanted diamond gear oh more wow let's see sound wise how are we doing we bring you down yeah screw it I'll do a post production yeah, like always. So we got some pigs. We got some sheeps. We got an egg. Um, we got the rest of... There's a village like 400 blocks that way. And we got the rest of the stuff that I need for the farms. Potatoes, carrots. And I just marked out the entrance to my mine... Mm -hmm. right here and this is actually my spawning blocks and this is the southeast corner so on the other side of my best house ever there's a mark there's a mark down there there's a mark up on that hill and then there's that mark you see there and that's the uh, spawn border of this area um, so I got the spawns kind of like marked out a little bit I'm thinking I might make a monster spawner thing in that hill and have it go all the way down to low level you know try 10 or 11 I got some chicken I trapped a chicken down here so I can get eggs so I could get I've done lots of mining also um, so I can get some chickens going for my little chicken cooker that I've made. Oh, you. You know where to go. Did two of them die there? Well. So I had this little fake entrance to a cave here, so and I just made it into a little chicken cooker. Another. <laughs> another, um. X creation I missed it when I looked into the chest but every time an egg is laid it it sends out you know goes through the hopper uh, sends some signal to redstone goes out the dispenser and it uh, sends out a pulse of lava up here so when these guys grow up the pulse just cooks them well oh, there it was again shoot and I was looking away again but there's nothing grown here so doesn't matter maybe I'll do a tutorial on it but you know Exuma has a tutorial, so why should I do a tutorial? <laughs> right? It's his freaking product, so. Um, there's some really nice looking stuff over here. Um, eventually, we will build out in this direction. I think uh, I might even start in this episode a farming thing. Seeing I, I found a village a few hundred blocks that way. Um, I need a good farm and this looks like a good farming area to make mega amounts of produce so of course with a thing like this over here I've got to do something uh, this is too great of land not to do something so I don't know and there's like even the overhang uh, hat shell type thing there so I have to think of something for that, which is a pleasure. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes when I'm uh, talking on here, I, I talk in ways like, I have to, I need to do this, this is going to take up a lot of time, oh, I'm angering people in my family by taking too much time and recording a lot, but a lot of that has to... It's, 
fun and I'm kind of putting a sarcastic spin on things let's go to the best house ever because it has the finest sleeping establishments on this map as a matter of fact I think I'm the only person on this map so uh, yeah so there's the outer edge of my spawn chunks I'm thinking of making the extra big farm out there oh, god I wish those things were quieter and I think I put the villager over here somewhere inside the spawn chunks obviously so they can breed and stuff um, and those are some of the newest moves I have also uh, let me show you something real quick in here another crappy portal location but that way goes to one um, fortress which I'm going to make a couple of uh, blaze farms out of this one goes to another fortress which I'm gonna make a um, it's out in the middle of nowhere I'm gonna move away from that a little bit it's out in the middle of nowhere you know kind of like over lava so I'm gonna make it into a um, wither skeleton area so I have uh, plenty to do here and I plan on doing most of it and then showing you later but I think today what I'm ultimately gonna do ah. <laughs> is start making that farm or setting up the farm out there so I can have mega supplies for the villages because uh, villager trading it's great to have this type of farm but this is barely enough to keep this type of livestock going so we need to make mega farms and I'm still trying to get some bookshelves and stuff so I can enchant the 30 and that's why I need to do the blaze spawn Nur. it'll be the same setup as I'll do in the uncut world when I eventually do it and stuff um, and you'll be able to see it being made in there I doubt I'm gonna show much here I've done chose a place to put this farm initially I was gonna put it over here and I actually started working on a frame setup over there you see that right there I changed my mind I wanted a little closer to my spawn chunks because I'm gonna bring villagers over here and a lot of villagers need wheat carrots you know the farming stuff to trade with and I didn't want to have to go a hundred blocks over there to bring them back to bring the food to the um, the villagers to trade or even like the uh, sugar came there so I decided to kind of put it in my spawn chunk so I decided to move it over to this area and um, so this is where it's gonna be and I need the this is gonna be the center so all the water flow of the farms are gonna end up being right on that spot right there so what I need to do is make sure uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to make sure that the water streams are okay. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the water streams a little bit. I'm gonna outline it with um, the this farm with something called acacia wood logs and I had a hard time trying to figure out so I'm an, I always believe that you build to the environment and um, this environment is acacia um, that's the wood that we would use and nothing really goes good with acacia um, logs other than bricks and stuff and I didn't want to use bricks so I was fighting with myself gave myself a couple of black eyes and a bloody nose trying to figure out what I'm gonna do and I've decided that I'm gonna um, make the main structure out of acacia <laughs> and um, I need some water there's some water and um, highlight it with dark oak so that was another problem with this episode is I don't have any dark oak and the closest dark oak is like 800 blocks away which is a little too far for my taste let's see if this is right 
with this particular episode, I've had a little bit of difficulty because I'm in a brand new world and I don't have any supplies and I wanted to get going with the building. And um, so I was a little distracted on what I should do because um, I'm so, I guess you could say, behind in this world for what I want to be doing. Um, and I was kind of lost because I spent most of the, t the time to make this episode just collecting materials and didn't really think about what the episode was going to be about uh, until the last second and that's never a good idea. So here I am, two days after I'm supposed to have this episode um, finished, I'm running around not really knowing exactly what I'm going to do with the episode. Um, so it's a little strange. And some people may think of that as a complaint, but I think that's part of the enjoyment, the journey of making these things, is the challenge of getting them done. So I am one of those who works best under the gun challenged. Um, as a matter of fact, Stacy says, you know, I'm, I'm useless until the shit hits the fan, then I'm the best person to have around. So I'm a shit hits the fan fixer. So seeing I have run run out of time, I'm kind of like trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I actually lost sleep last night because I was like, okay, am I going to build the farm? Wait a second, I'm going to be building a farm in the other uh, series also. So do I want to be building two farms at once? Uh, what am I going to do? And that's the type of stuff that uh, makes me <laughs> take the words out of Paul Soros Jr. Thrive and survive. I like it. So um, basically, for the rest of this episode, I'm just going to get the outline of this and then uh, finish it up um, next week. Um, so the first farm is going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There. Then the next one is going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four right here and the next one's gonna go one two three four one two three four and I think this one one three four one two three four Is that right let's see so this would be like wheat this one would be carrots that one would be potatoes that one would be uh, nether rock nether wart and I'd have a thing of on that side and it's basically just going to be a filter maybe four platforms with the wheat coming down and I'll filter in here four platinums with the wheat coming down over here then go in here I'm going to make some sort of um, uh, sorter so when it does um, come down I'm going to see how big this thing looks from up here also but when all the product does come down and get into the final hopper, uh, it will go through a item sorter and it will put the stuff in the right chest for where I want it. And I guess I will put the village thing, the villager breeder over here or over here. I think I'm going to do it over there. So hopefully I don't cover this hole up with this farm. Let's see. We need uh, eight and three sevens, and then a couple. So let's see. Um, let's just do eight times four, so 32. Ooh, my frame rates are fighting with me. Why are you fighting with me, frame rates? Come back next week. The episode, this thing should be finished. Maybe I'll do the redstone for on camera. I don't know. Not a big fan of doing redstone on camera for obvious reasons. It's a good way to look stupid. <laughs> but till next week uh, bear with me this will go get on this series will start moving smoothly once I get uh, my supplies and everything that I need in this world up and running properly right now I'm just kind of spending most of my time getting resources and stuff and a little bit of time recording in the future it's going to be more recording and less resource gathering because then I'll have the resources already have a good day. It is Kay.